Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to get a nice smooth pass of wax over the surface of your painting. Sometimes when you're painting, uh, especially on larger pieces, you'll take your brush out of the pot on your hot palette and you'll drag it across the surface of your painting and you might get about halfway across and it starts to leave little chunks of wax behind or worse yet, it actually sticks a bit to the panel. So there's an easy fix for this and I'll show you how to take care of that. Okay, so I prepared this panel with a couple of layers of dark encaustic paint and it basically sat in my studio overnight. So let's see what happens. I know what's gonna happen, but I'll show you what happens. So my palette is set at, uh, right now it's just under 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So I might turn this up just a little bit, but I'm going with this brush here and I'm going to just make a pass across the face of the painting here and as you can see I get about a little more than halfway and it starts to get crumbly and it started to stick so you know when you're looking for a nice smooth stroke of white or any color that's not a good look so why did this happen? It's really just because this panel is cold and or your wax isn't hot enough. Because I like to work at lower temperatures, you know, I have to be aware of this when I want smooth, um, smooth strokes of uh, wax. So, I mean, sometimes I'm not paying attention and, and this does happen to me on occasion and it's easy enough to fix. What I'll usually do is just Go at it from the other direction. And uh, and then I'll, I'll just scrape it back. I'll take off the high points. Because I do want it to look even. Sort of just focus on the areas where it's thicker. So, and the reason why this happened is because your panel is cold and your wax isn't hot enough. So, the solution, you can um, warm your wax before you paint on it, before you go across, whether it's with clear medium or white or another color. Just warm it up. That'll give you a thinner layer too. Sort of, it tends to get thicker on the ends too. Okay, that's probably good enough. So I'm going to fuse that. And I'll fuse this bottom part as well. <clears throat> and then we'll try to paint the bottom half and see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to turn this around. Make sure my brush is nice and warm. I'm just sort of pushing it down to the bottom of the, of the pot. Okay. There, much better. Cooled off a little bit by the end. Probably could have warmed it up even a bit more. But I'll just do the same process. Go back the other way. That was more that was more me. I've got a bunch of stuff over here and my it got in the way of my arm. I like to overlap these types of strokes here, just I find it's easier to 
to deal with them if they're overlapping rather than if there's a, a line there with no paint. So I just scrape them back a little bit. Okay, and this is just a couple of base coats, so I'm not super worried about this for, you know, to be perfect. It's going to be a landscape, so. I like some variation in the background. Okay, and you see these little um, air bubbles here? Usually I deal with those, I just turn my panel and go a different direction and they will eventually come up. When you have texture in your wax, those can create air bubbles, but also your panel itself, when you put those first few layers on. In fact, I think this panel did have some bubbles there. Uh, I didn't fuse them out completely before I put the white on, so they're coming up to haunt me. You want to over you want to avoid overheating so I, I tend to just keep going different directions until they come out it's getting pretty liquid now so I'll give it one more pass and then that that's gonna have to cool down a bit to get those bubbles out Okay, so they're they're out, but it did bring up a little bit of color from beneath. So if I didn't want that, I could just paint over it with some uh, some white, or I'll just incorporate that into my background. Okay, I hope that was helpful.